Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, it's been a while, it's been about two years since I've posted the video, but uh, I got a couple videos I'm gonna kind of record real quick and then hopefully keep up with one a week. Uh, mostly Affinity designer tutorials or just kind of Affinity stuff. Uh, so, you know, do the subscribe thing and all that if you want. Uh, so today's video, uh, we're going to talk about taking an image and making a silhouette because this is just a this is a basic when it comes to any kind of vector and uh, and a basic for Affinity Designer and sometimes when you get stuff like this I, I chose this uh, Wonder Woman poster um, it, it looks pretty detailed and it looks a little hard but it's really not and I'm going to show you how to do this quickly and easily so the first step is to uh, Oh, and then the other thing I want you to know before we get into this, uh, the big thing is this is all just kind of going to be one piece. We're not going to be, um, it's a lot easier, obviously, if you have a thousand layers, but that's the whole point of this video is to make a clean, solid, um, one, one layer vector. And the hair by the end of this video will be connected. There's a reason I left it off right now. I didn't want to have to undo a bunch of stuff. Um, so the first thing is obviously find your image. Uh, we're going to make the image. Uh, let me get rid of that and the hair. Okay. So the first step is get the image in and uh, let's make the opacity, you know, around 60%. These, the opacity is right here. So you click on your layer, click on the opacity and uh, you know, just kind of get it somewhere where we can see our lines. If it's too dark, we're gonna have hard times uh, following. Um, and again, this isn't like a super beginner. This is knowing, you know, you should kind of know stuff, but I'm gonna go over a lot of basics, but you should already know the layout of Affinity Designer by now. Um, this, I'm gonna get rid of real quick, but you do want to have that there. Uh, just for reference in the later stages. And then, just, just so you know, this video is just going to cover the outline. However, I do have another video oops, that will take it all the way through to its final stage. Um, and as you can see, we then put uh, more vector on top of it to kind of fill in some of the colors so it's not just a silhouette. It looks a little bit more like the, uh, the poster. And then we go in with a uh, pixel layer and kind of paint some stuff in. So I, I'm eventually gonna show you how to get it to uh, this. And then the background too is all done in Affinity. Uh, so the first thing we wanna do is lock this layer just so we're not clicking on it and moving it around by accident. So just click on it and there's a little lock button up in the corner here. So the very first step of this is gonna to be to do the outline with the pen tool. So we wanna select the pen tool and we actually want to make this stroke maybe like a different color just so we can see it a little better. And I'm going to go through this quickly. Uh, I do have a speed run video where, uh, you know, I just go through this and that's going to be a separate video. But basically, let me get in here real quick. Uh, you want to start clicking real quick and you want to get your stroke set. So the stroke we're going to bring down to looks like 0.5. Uh, I'm going to reset this pressure. This is something I'll show you later. That's for the hair. Um, and we're going to kind of keep going. We're going to kind of keep outlining this. And I'm actually going to skip the lips. I'm going to skip a lot of this just for, you know, quickness sake. Um, we're going to come in. We don't want to do the hair just yet. Okay. And what I'm going to show you is basically I like to do it quickly first and then come back and adjust everything however right here we're way off so if you want to hit if you're on the Mac you can hit the command key and that's going to change our mouse to the node tool and you can just quickly move that over real quick and just get that into place and then you can kind of keep continuing down uh, so that's you know the node tool is going to do that so here I'm just going to kind of click around this hand and then click up and uh, you know, just for quickness sake, but you would eventually go, you would go around the whole outline and do the majority of it, the big parts. If there's little parts, like even how I skip the hand, um, you, we can come back to that. I forgot something to tell you. Okay, and I feel bad for 
not bringing this up earlier. So there's two kind of uh, tools here that you're gonna wanna focus on when you're doing this. When you're in the pen tool, you have the smart mode and the pen, the pen mode. The pen mode is more old school, I think. It was, you know, that's how I first learned. And basically you're gonna click somewhere and you're gonna drag out this little handle and then you're gonna keep going. I mean, I'm good with it just cause I've been doing it forever, but I don't recommend anybody does it like this anymore because now Affinity has the smart one. And the, the smart pen, smart mode is what I was using here. And as you click around, it just kind of like knows, it, it uses approximations of, uh, you know, where you're gonna be actually, I'm gonna cut this in here and I'm gonna show you something with this. So <clears throat> before we get out of this, so now we got the outline, okay? And I just kind of did the top, but um, now the second step is we want to go through with the node tool and we really want to like fix everything and kind of get everything into place, uh, delete stuff that we don't want, add stuff. So right here, uh, we just don't need that. I can just hit delete and delete that. And the first little trick I'm going to show you is if you, you want to move that up a little bit, you can just grab and move that and that's going to be fine. And then here I can go, look, that I don't need. And uh, maybe I don't need this one. And I just go to move it out. And I go, oh, you know what? I do need one here. Instead of clicking and dragging, I can just do a quick click and then I'll put one right in. So this is, this is how you're gonna go through and really refine your uh, outline here. And you can kind of move these handles around. So another trick I'm gonna show you is Basically, with the curves, when you get in here, the shorter they are, the pointier they're going to be, and then the longer, the rounder they're going to be. If we know this is going to be a point right here, we can go up to this uh, little convert, and we can convert it to sharp, and then we can just kind of put it right where that point is. Um, the second thing I want to say is when you get in close like this, and you should be in close like this, uh, you're going to see a lot of anti-aliasing and you're not going to be 100% positive as to like, oh, where exactly this point should be because we got all these kind of squares. Um, it doesn't matter as long as you're like within the ballpark on this. When you zoom out, we're so zoomed in right now, you're, you're sometimes thinking, should it be outside, on, little in? Um, you just kind of want to keep it close and use your best judgment and uh, you'll be surprised, it'll look really sharp. So once we get this done, rough outlined, we wanna get rid of the stroke and we wanna go back in and fill this with black. And now what we wanna do is we gotta start cutting and adding pieces. So first I'm gonna show you how to cut. So we're gonna select our curve, which is down here. We're gonna get rid of it. And we're gonna zoom in and we're gonna do this little arm hole real quick. So again, I'm using the smart tool. Going around this, I'm gonna go real quick here. But after you're done with this, you can go through and you know go back in, define it. Uh, let's make this purple real quick just so I can show you how this is working. Uh, okay. Now that we got that, we, we, what we want to do is cut this whole lot of this. So first we're going to select the hole we want to cut. Then we're going to shift select uh, that, the curve, or you can command select if there's multiple things. Uh, okay, so what we want to do is go up to this corner and we just want to subtract it. And it's that simple. Now we have a editable we can still go in we can do all the edits and everything but now it's a it's a solid piece and that's that's what we're looking for overall so now I'm gonna show you how to add something let's say as you were doing this outline you were just like I don't want to do this right now it's just too much let me get the basic human outline done and then I'm gonna go back in and add it okay not a problem so we're gonna go back to the pen tool and 
let's just start doing this. This I'm going to do super quick here. And of course you would want to refine this. But we're just going to go over top. And do the same thing. I'm going to fill it with black. So, uh, you know, this would be cool if you were doing layers. But the point is we want one solid piece at the end. Um, so we're going to go to this layer and then we got the curve. So we're going to select the curve first, select the body, and then instead of sub subtract, we're going to go to uh, add. And then as you can see, let's select the node tool. As you can see, that made it one solid piece here. So now we have this solid outline. So if we want to move it around, we can. Um, that's... That's the basics. Now I'm going to show you the hair real quick because the hair is going to be a little bit different. You can't, uh, you, you don't want to trace the hair like this because it's just going to take you forever. And it, by the end of the day, it's, it's just not going to look, uh, it's not going to look good. So what we want to do with the hair is we want to actually do uh, strokes. So Excuse me, I'm going to just start clicking and I'm going to follow kind of one of these strands here. I'm then going to go to the stroke and sorry about that, my mouse was getting a little sticky. Okay, so we're going to want to make this um, a little thicker to begin with. And now I'm going to show you this pressure thing that I had turned off earlier. So this relates directly to our stroke. So if we move this down, they're both going to move down and it's going to get thinner and thicker as we move it up and down. What we really want this to do is we want to move one side down. Uh, let me click here. And as you can see, as we move this down, oh, I'm doing the wrong side. So as we move this curve down, this is going to get thinner and thinner. And we can have a couple different points here. It's a little weird how you got to like set that up like that. Um, but once you set it up once to the kind of hair strains you have, the majority of them are going to be similar and you're just going to kind of come up here with the width. So. Once we have that one hair, we're going to hold command to go to the node tool. We're going to click off of it, and then we're just going to keep uh, throwing more strands in here. And it's a little bit tedious, but, you know, it's what you got to do. So once you get your strand in, you're going to kind of want to change the width to make it right. Uh, you can then go back in, edit it around a little bit. Um, make, sure, make sure you click off before you begin a new one, otherwise it's going to continue. Uh, and then we can kind of just keep clicking in here and this one, you know, so you're going to do this whole thing. I, I'm, I'm kind of done. And again, make sure you click off. Otherwise you're going to keep drawing that. So that's the basics. Now we can't do this. We can't select this and select this and then do one because it was a stroke, so the stroke is going to, I mean, you can see what happened here. It's going to try to convert the stroke into a fill, and you're going to end up with a mess. So, but the good thing is we don't have to go one by one with the hairs. So we're going to select all of our hairs, and actually, you know what, I'm just going to delete these, and... I'm going to select my main outline, bring that back up, and then bring the hair up. Because this is this is what you're going to end up with in the end here. And he, here's all the curves here. So, I mean, there's a lot of different curves here. So, <clears throat> sorry. We're going to go through, select them all. And then to do the hair, we're going to go to edit. I'm sorry. We're going to go to layers. And we're going to expand the stroke. So basically, these are all strokes here. And we want to basically expand them into fills and outlines. So once I hit this expand stroke, now 
as you can see, it converted all that from a stroke to a fill. Now that that's all selected, um, I believe we can select all those, select the body. Let's see if this works. Yep, and it did. And then we can add it. And uh, now if we select off, let's get rid of this. And yeah, now we have a solid outline you know, and that's all there is to it. It takes a little bit to do. Um, to get to this point, I want to say it took me about an hour. Um, I do have a speed video that I'm going to be putting at the end of this. And I think that's kind of all uh, there is to it. Uh, let me show you the background real quick. So I did a background, uh, made a square, and uh, all I did was put a fill in. And when you put a fill in, you can you know what, you get it. This, this video isn't about the background, it's about the outline. So in the next video, like I said, I'm gonna show you how to take that. And in the next video, the next video is gonna be a little bit longer and uh, we're gonna really kind of get into it and get it to more of a finished piece. But this is great for, this, this, you gotta learn this because you gotta have that base to then keep building up on and keep drawing up on. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, you know, like and subscribe, all that fun stuff.